Hello, my most amazing art students. So today we're going to be painting our Mido Meow Meows. And Mido like to work in primary colors um, a lot of the time, bright, bold colors, um, and secondary colors as well. Secondary colors means if I mix red and yellow, I get orange. If I mix yellow and blue, I get green. And <clears throat> if I mix blue and red, I get purple. And orange, green, and purple are secondary colors. So I think I'm going to paint my meow meow um, with a nice bright orange color. I might change the colors up too because Mido painted to where you didn't really know um, what the subject was. It was very abstract. And we are, we kind of fudged on that. And we made our paintings recognizable. And that's okay. We still added elements that were very Mido-like. He inspired our artwork, right? So I'm just painting around all of my... Lines. I'm trying not to get any big puddles of paint, and if I do, I can use my paintbrush to push them down and smooth them out. So, hold on one second, guys. It went in. Do I have to take it twice a day now? No. You went in where? Into the into the nurse's office. Okay, so she's embarrassed to ask your names. So if you went in this morning, she doesn't know who you are. She like doesn't write it down. <laughs> Okay, I did. I was like 98.7. Okay, I have a good temperature, you guys. <laughs> so, all right. Um, so just continue painting and f paint your whole picture. Sure. And as we go... Um, I used to have kitties, but I don't have any kitties anymore. Living in the East Mountain is hard for kitties in the East Mountains. Um, but I do have two doggos, a little one and a big one. So there is my orange kitty, and I'm going to paint it his, his or her head now all the way around. I'm trying very hard to stay in the lines and not paint outside the lines. It can be kind of tricky to do that, to go slow and do your best work. All right. So that looks pretty good. Um, I'm going to wait to paint the stripes and the nose until this dries a little bit, but I'm going to go ahead and paint um, the moon. My yellow is kind of icky, icky a little bit. It's got some other colors in there, so I'm going to try to clean it up some so that it's not, it's, so it's really bright yellow. I'm going to do my crescent shape. And paint that nice bright yellow color. And then <clears throat> I'm going to take some blue and I'm going to paint these star shapes over. And you guys can paint yours whatever color you want. It's your choice. There we go. And I think I'm going to make this kitty's tail, this meow meow's tail, have a highlighted blue swirl. Little blue swirl line. Good afternoon, ABC. All right. A reminder to teachers to please connect to Google Meet. And then I think I will use... Red for the nose, 
And then, hmm, let's go ahead and use this beautiful purple. We're going to be carefully paint the line, the stripes, purple striped kitty. So we are kind of making it abstract um, in the way that we are painting it too, the colors that we're using to paint it. All right. And the last one. Cool. All right, I'm gonna tilt it up a little bit. I apologize for the other interruption. Google Meet so, goes for all teachers and staff, so uh, that includes upper school teachers as well. Thank you. Sorry, it's pickup time at school, so. Um, I am going to take my larger paintbrush and kind of smooth out some of these areas that have started to gather some paint. Just because I don't want it to be so splotchy and blotchy. All right. All right, guys, boys and girls, thank you for joining me today. Um, I hope that you had fun making our beetle meow meows and I can't wait to see what you created. Have a wonderful day.